today is a Tuesday. Yesterday I didn't vlog because I had a pretty busy day. In the morning we went to our the place where we bought our teardrop trailer and filled out all of the paperwork for it because we get to pick it up on Saturday. So this week is going to be exciting, baby. Our trailer is finally going to be here. Can give you a tour. You know, try to park it in our backyard. It's going to be an adventure. Um, I picked up Luster last night. This is a pretty buzzy book. It's been on the internet a lot, uh, on booktube a few times, and I think it's just like getting a lot of good pu publicity right now. It is incredible. <laughs> I was posting about it on my Instagram last night, like uh, writing excerpts and just like my initial gut reaction to it. I could tell by page 10 that it was going to be a five star read. The writing is so good. I can't even describe it properly yet, but like I think this is going to be my favorite book of the year. I, I already like this more than I liked real life and you know how much I liked real life. So I'm really excited. Premise essentially is like a younger woman gets involved in an open marriage, which I was like, mm, that sounds kind of boring, but there's so much interweaved already i'm like 50 pages in about power dynamics and race and class and sexuality and gender and like i said the writing is fucking insane <laughs> um instead of trying to look for it in the book let me find the picture of it that i took last night that stopped me in my tracks baby i always yawn when I read out loud. Is that a nervous tick? I don't know why that is. Like I, when I was in high school and I would have to like read aloud when it was my turn in class, whatever that part of schooling was, uh, I would always yawn right before. I wonder if it's like my brain, I don't know. I don't know, does that happen to you? <laughs> anyway, I yawned and I'm gonna read this, this little quote to you. When it comes to this, I cannot help feeling that I'm at the end of a fluctuation that originated with a single butterfly. I mean, with one half degree of difference, everything I want could be mine. I am good, but not good enough, which is worse than simply being bad. It is almost. The difference between being there when it happens and stepping out just in time to see it on the news. That's a perfect paragraph. <laughs> uh, I think Raven Leilani just writes with such precision uh, it's like funny and heartbreaking and like cruel and like deeply kind of like grotesque and ugh, like honest at the same time. Um, I am loving this book, like obsessed. Favorite book of the year. I mean, I'm only 50 pages in, but I will keep you updated at lunch uh, how I get on with it. Love bug boys. I have an incredible update for you. It's the kitchen table. It's the kitchen table. Oh my God. Um, I'm gonna start trying to assemble these, even though I know that's a bad idea without Kiki, but I just can't wait. <laughs> Not good? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, spud. This is how impatient I am as a person. Not good. Okay. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I built this table. <laughs> I attached the screws. I definitely can't do this part alone because it's like a piece of marble. Um but I will open the box so it's super easy for me and Kiki to move it when he gets home. <sighs> Something terrible happened. Terrible. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? What did I do? I'm so sad. God damn it. They're sending us a replacement. I asked them to please expedite it if they can and to pack it better. Customer service was so nice. Um, and they told us to keep the table and donate it. 
Just got these three in the mail. Oh my God, the harmonizing. It's a Booker Boy book haul, lads. Fresh from England. We're happy. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Gloomy in Portland today. Feels like a chilled, laid back, cusp of fall day. I'm into it. I made a lot of progress on Luster last night. I read about another 100 pages or so. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, it's really good. I feel like it's teetering on the edge of unbelievability now because some events have taken place so hastily it feels. But the writing is like so sharp and honest and like cutting at the same time that it doesn't bother me at all. It, feels, it just feels like I'm reading a movie or something. It is so freaking good, you guys. You have to read it. Hi again, it's lunchtime. I am eating, <laughs> we had tacos last night uh, with like fake meat and beans and rice and you know, taco stuff. And I'm eating the leftover innards with chips. Glamorous. Happy Friday, everyone. We made it. This week is coming to an end. Thank God. I have been a bad vlogger this week. I don't think I vlogged like the last two days. I can't even really remember. Very busy with work and that's that's my excuse. I was busy with work. Um, <laughs> I have been reading though. I finished Luster. I have nothing but great things to say about it. It was incredible. Uh, we can talk about that a little bit later. And I started picking up Love and Other Thought Experiments, which Got nominated for the booker if you can hear that clicking in the background it's our coffee maker i don't know why it does that now but it does um yeah i'm about 100 pages into that at first i was not liking it i didn't understand what was going on now i think i get the gist we can talk more about that later too just wanted to check in start the day off with you we can go from there okay talk to you later i just saw a really good bumper sticker while i took spud outside to go to the bathroom it was on a truck and on the side of the window, it said, it won't be long now. And then as he turned away past my street, I saw the back window and it said, beam me up Jesus in an arch. And then under it, it said, it won't be long now. I'm carrying that energy with me. Beam me up Jesus. Okay, I'm sitting down on my bed during my lunch break and I thought I would talk about luster a little bit more. I finished this Wednesday night and no i finished this thursday morning yesterday morning and i thought it was incredible the more i think about it like this book is conversations with friends if it was nuanced and well written <laughs> like i think part of sally rooney's books are that they're like so relatable and you can inhabit the characters really easily because I don't think the writing is super strong or super specific um that that's why they're good if that makes sense but this was like that book on steroids with important conversations around race and gender and identity and class at the same time um the, the way this book is summarized online i've seen at least is that like a young black woman gets into a relationship with an older man who has decided to be in an open marriage and kind of unfolding what that dynamic looks like but it's so much more than that and i think that is what conversations with friends is really about right um so i freaking loved it i love this book i'm already gonna give it to a friend tomorrow so she can start reading it um let me know if you've read this and if you agree with my Sally Rooney analysis. There's even a line in here uh, where Raven Leilani is talking about mediocrity of like white people specifically. Um, and just like doing the bare minimum uh, to move through the world obviously. And like how she kind of rejects that. And I was like, damn, that's like a good parallel for this book and Conversations with Friends. Not to be too harsh on Conversations with Friends, but oh, this is so much better than that. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning, 8.30 in the morning. I worked until 9.30 p.m. last night. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yep, uh-huh, and I'm glad it's weekend. We are picking up our teardrop trailer in 30 minutes, people. So excited. I think we have like a two hour long walkthrough so we know how to use it, and we get to take it home. Maybe I'll read this weekend. Maybe I'll finish Love and Other Thought Experiments. Cool, talk to you later. <laughs> Is this thing on? Hello? 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 Good morning. It's Sunday. I didn't show you the trailer yesterday. I'm bad. Uh, it was kind of exhausting, like going on a three hour long walkthrough with like a man telling you about a trailer, you know what I mean? So we had to do that at 9 a.m. and we were there until like 12 and it just took it out of us. Parked it, it was stressful, but we did it. And I'll film a little tour later, it's gonna be good. Spying on my neighbors, what are we doing today? Today we are going to Target and the grocery store. <laughs> Who would have thought? I got sucked into a vortex of cleaning TikTok, like housekeeper click TikTok, giving you like tips and tricks on how to clean your home better. Uh, so I guess we're at whatever stage of quarantine that is. So, great. Uh, I'm on the lookout for a product called Scrub Free. Supposedly it's the best for cleaning your bathtub. <laughs> Huge Sunday plans, everyone. I finished up another chapter of, uh, what is it, on love and other thought experiments or whatever. And I don't know, it's kind of, it's like jumping between a family and it spans, uh, like each chapter is a different person in the family and it's like jumping back and forth between time. And it's not really resonating with me. I don't know, I'm just not loving it, but I'm hoping I can finish that today. I'll show you the trailer later, I promise. <laughs> table's still broken. <laughs> the table's still broken right down the middle. We're still waiting for our replacement, but it does feel good to have a table here. We definitely need a different chair vibe in here. The black is not working for me anymore. Uh, I think I still want vintage chairs, but just like a mixture of types and just wood tones. I think that would look good. I'm also thinking about a rug, but I don't know. I think that would hide too much of the wood floor because this is a pretty big area rug we have in the living room. Mirror still hasn't come from the mantle, so don't judge me there. But let me know what you think. Do you think I should define this space a little bit more with a rug or just get some art on the walls? There she blows everyone. Our little teardrop trailer. It's actually pretty big, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have like this giant tree in our yard and we usually put chairs in like a fire pit here uh, But we're gonna park the trailer here now, which is totally fine. Our yard's pretty big. We have other places to sit uh, What can I show you we have a double gate here so we can back it up which is awesome Now I don't want any comments on how bougie this is, okay? <laughs> Um, this is a giant window you look out of. The cover is on, but usually you can like see out of it when it's not. We got like a little seating area. You can sit in here for storage. These fold out into a bed, um, a queen size bed, just so you have like a sense of scale. And then a lot of people like just put mattress toppers on it and like sheets and they say it's really comfortable. Uh, a TV. <laughs> A fake fireplace, an air conditioner, a DVD player, more storage, a fan, another way to get in. But yeah, it's just like big enough to sleep in basically. Okay. <laughs> uh, would I have picked the gray farmhouse aesthetic in here? No. Okay. We might be doing like a light cabinet refresh because it's just like pretty extreme. Uh, but it is cute, you know? This is a 12 volt fridge, so it uh, plugs into electricity and keeps your food cold. This is just storage. All of this is like pretty deep storage. This is a sink. It has like a water tank underneath. And then this is a stove right here, which is so cool. 
So it doesn't have a bathroom or like a shower. Um, but we're just gonna be like weekend campers and kind of take it out on like mini Oregon road trips at first so we can get used to it. Yeah, this had like a bunch of vinyl stickers on it when we bought it with like hideous branding. So we're starting to slowly peel those off and we might like do a vinyl wrap on it of some kind, but I don't know what. But she's just a cutie, a little egg girl. One more shot of the backyard so you can see it in relation to the garden. I just finished this. I hated it. <laughs> Uh, the multi-dimensional plot line interwoven with like different realities and like time and space continuums and this weird science NASA plot. No, I didn't ask for any of that. Not good. Maybe like a 1.5 out of 5 or a 2 out of 5. Would not recommend. Should we read next, people? Bunny? Or burnt sugar. What do you vote for, Kiki? Buh. Buh. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's look what else we have too. I know we have some other new stuff on the. Who are we? Huh? Who's me? me and the camera is we. <laughs> Can you hear me? Probably not. Oh God. What's even going on here? Decided to read Exquisite Mariposa by Fiona Allison Duncan. Soft School sent this to me as a review copy. I love Soft School and I'm excited. Seems weird. <laughs> I just made this from my green chef for dinner. Porcini mashed potatoes with creamy mushroom gravy, sauteed carrots with walnuts, and slaw. It was delightful. I'm loving this company. End the vlog here, lads. I got to chapter three of this and it's funny. It's like irreverent and cheeky and self-referential and like very online, if that makes sense. If you're a very online girl, you might be because you're watching a girl online, um, I would pick this up. It's kind of like if, uh, if Ingrid Goes West was a book, it uh, has that kind of like weird mirroring effect of like being aware of the downfalls of social media and the curated self participating in it at the same time. It's weird, I like it so far. This vlog was even a little bit fun to watch, kind of a sporadic one. We'll get into the groove next week and I will see you on, when do I upload? Thursday. I'll see you on Thursday. Goodbye, lads.